30. Ready or not, here I come. Reading with Polly. Drip Drop by Sarah Weeks. Pipsqueak lay in his bed. Something wet fell on his head. Drip Drop, Plip Plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak. I've got a leak. He climbed up and got a cup. This cup will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. His eyes had just begun to close. Then something wet fell on his toes. Drip drop, plip plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got a new leak. Away he ran to get a pan. This pan will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. He closed his eyes and snuggled in. Then something wet fell on his chin. Drip drop, plip plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got another leak. He went and got a great big pot. This pot will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. Thunder boomed, lightning flashed. A new leak splished, another splashed. Drip drop, plip plop. Down came the rain, it would not stop. It filled the pot, it filled the pan. It filled the cup, it filled the can. It filled the pail, and after that, it filled the glass, it filled the hat. It filled the tub, it filled the shoes. Pip Squeak did not know what to do. There was nothing left to catch the drips or drops or plips or plops. I give up, said Pip Squeak. Just go ahead and leak. He hung his head and closed his eyes. Then Pip Squeak had a big surprise. The r sun came out. The rain had stopped. No drops dripped. No plips plopped. Come jump in the puddles, his friends all said. But Pip Squeak ran and jumped in bed. The end. Hi friends, we're hoping that you enjoyed that wonderful book, Drip Drop. That's one of my favorite books. I think it's so fun. And we decided that what would be fun is to do an experiment. So we got Polly's bowl and it's clear so you're able to see through it and we filled it with water. And this is something you can do at home if you have mommy or daddy or an adult's help. So we filled it with water 
and we got a bunch of objects and we're going to experiment and take guesses. Do we think these objects are going to float and stay on top of the water or are they going to sink to the bottom? So we're going to start, I guess, with the ball. And this ball is tricky because it has holes in it. So I don't know. What do you think it's going to do, float or sink? Float. So we have one vote for float. Sink. Sink. I'm, I'm torn because it does have the holes in it. It's floating. What happens if we turn it around where the holes are in? It sank, but not totally to the bottom. But I guess, let's if see. If we that, push it down? If we, no, no, it still floats. So it still floats, even when it's filled with water. That was a tricky one, because with the holes, you would think something with a hole would fill up and sink to the bottom, but that's a float one. Okay, what about an apple? Now an apple, you can feel it, it's pretty heavy. Feel it. Mm. What do you think's gonna happen? To me, to me it's light. Oh, you think it's light? Do you think it's gonna float or sink? I think it's gonna float. What do you think? You think, I think you said float before. Yeah, I yeah, think float? It, it might float. Okay. I'm not sure, it's not It is too pretty heavy, heavy, but I don't know. I'm Let's gonna... see. It's floating. It's floating. First it went down and I thought, oh, this is gonna sink. Nope. Even though it's heavy, it floated. Which tells you, you can never know. You think boats can be pretty heavy on the water and those float. So you can never tell. Okay, now we have two water bottles. Because I don't know if this is going to make a difference. One is full of water, and the other one is half full of water. What do you think the full water is going to do? I think it's going to float. You I think, think it's going to float? I think it's going to... What do you think? What do you think at home? Do you think it's going to float or sink? Let's try. Sink. Yeah, no. It's kind of floating. I don't know. We that's floating. I can get my fingers under it. Yep, that's floating. And that, maybe it's because there's a little air bubble in there. So I if that one floats, my guess is what's going to happen to this one? Float. 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 That one floats even higher, right? Because it has more air inside. So that one floats higher than the other one. That's a good experiment, mm -hmm. but they both floated. Now we're going to coin. Okay, a coin. This is a quarter that worth quarter. 25 cents. Okay. So that's a that's a lot of money. 25 cents. It's not, you know, a penny's only worth one. Sink. Maybe. Sink. 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 And you know what? You know what that reminded me of before I threw it? You know when you go to a fountain and you make a wish and mm -hmm. you throw it in there and it sinks to the bottom and that our coin did. It sank to the bottom. And it doesn't, do you think it matters if it's a penny, a nickel, a dime, or a quarter? No. They're all going to, they're all going to sink. All right, what about scissors? They have holes in it, and our baseball had holes in it. Sink. Sink? Sink. 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 Okay. Don't put your scissors in water. They'll get all rusty. That's just for our experiment. We'll make sure to dry those off. What about, oh, I have two things here. What are these? Spoons. I have spoons. One of them is made of metal, Sink. and one of them is made of plastic. Sink, float. All right. So let's see, we have the metal one. No. Sink. What about the plastic one? So that's a, that's a sinker. But it has holes in it. It has holes in it. It does have some holes in it. It's going to float. It's a floater. So you can have two of the same thing. Both are spoons, but this one's metal and this one's plastic. So they do different things. Our last one, a comb to comb your hair. Float. You want to feel it? Float? What do you think? Float. 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 What about you at home? What do you think? Sink or float? It floats. Float. That's a good floater. I like that one. Did you guess sink? No, I, I guess float. You guess float. Well, some of these are tricky. So that's a fun experiment with all our different floaters and sinkers I knew with our this water. Would float. You I knew, knew that one. You got that one right. So I hope you had fun at home with our with our thing. I think Polly's gonna come out and say some goodbyes. He's been whispering back there. Uh, and so we'll see if we can get Polly out to say goodbye to all of his friends for the day. Bye. Hi everybody. Polly and I wanna thank you so much for joining us today, being with us during our story time and activity. It's so much fun learning together, isn't it? You learned a lot of signs today. When we read our, our book, Drip Drop, we learned the sign for wet. We learned the sign for drip drip, Plop, plop. We had a lot of fun signs there, and we learned the sign for bed because Pipsqueak kept going back to bed, didn't he? You can go to sleep like this. So there was a lot of fun signs. Polly, you have binoculars there. What are you doing? 
You you trying to see some friends? Let's see. Let's put those up there. See, let's see. Put those on. Do you see? Who do you see, Polly? Oh my goodness, Polly! There's all our friends. Polly and I both see. We see Rebecca. We see Iris and Eden. Oh my gosh! Hi, Connor. We see you too. And Camille and James. Tilly. We see you there too. Do you see Tilly? Oh, friends, thank you so much for joining us today. We had such fun and we look forward to spending more time with you, learning all of the things there are to learn in the world and there's a lot to learn. Everyone be good, be safe, and we'll see you soon.